This is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up tutorial on 10 tips to editing faster. Well, we've got Final Cut open, but notice that we don't have a canvas and we don't have a timeline. And the reason is, is that we don't have a sequence open. So let's create a sequence. Well, we could go up to File, New, Sequence, but I tend to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command N. And notice that it automatically creates a sequence in the browser. Except, I don't like the name the sequence is given. Instead, I start with a space, type seq dash, and then I give it a name, in this case, my edits. The reason for starting with a space is that the browser automatically alphabetizes all sequences, and spaces alphabetize earlier than letters, so that bubbles all of my sequence names up to the top. I write the letters SEQ because this icon of blue and yellow is the same icon used whether it's a multi-layer Photoshop graphic which I import or a sequence which I create. I like being able to tell the difference. Then let's double click this sequence to open it to the timeline. I'll twirl down my clip spin and I've already got one clip loaded into the viewer. We'll move our playhead around and we'll set an in by typing the letter I. And we'll move the playhead somewhere else. We'll set an out by typing the letter O. This sets an in and an out. We can change the in and the out by simply grabbing and dragging it. Once we've got the in and the out set, we grab the clip and we drag... Well, wait a minute. If I drag it to the timeline, it's going to take a long time. Taking a long time is not why I got into editing. I want to get stuff done faster. So let's take a look at some other ways that we can edit aside from dragging clips down to the timeline. Let's start by grabbing this clip and dragging it. That much is true. But this time we're not going to drag it down. We're going to drag it to the right. And we're going to drop it inside the canvas window on top of that pop-up that just showed up by dragging the clip into the window. I'm going to drop it on top of the red overwrite overlay and watch the position of the playhead in the timeline. Poof! and that poof is very important, the clip shows up at the position of the playhead in the timeline. <laughs> very cool and much faster than dragging down to the timeline. Well, let's load another clip here. Grab one, double click it, load it up into the viewer, set an in by typing the letter I, set an out by typing the letter O, and we could grab the clip and drag it to the red overwrite overlay, but <laughs> been there, done that. Let's do something different. This time we're going to drag the clip down and drop it on top of the red envelope. And it's even faster to drag to the red envelope than all the way over to the red overwrite overlay. That's the second tip. Let's try another clip. We set an in, type the letter I, we set an out, type the letter O, and you can tell I'm spending a lot of time crafting exactly where I want the in and the out to set. I mean, the craft of editing is one thing I am teaching technique. So let's grab this. We could drag it to the red overwrite overlay. Been there. We could drag it to the red envelope. Way too much work. Instead, let's just click the red envelope, and that quickly, the, the clip shows up at the position of the playhead in the timeline. Let's try another clip. And we'll set an in, the letter I. We'll set an out, the letter O. We could drag to the red overwrite overlay. We could drag to the red envelope. We could click the red envelope. But this time, just press the F10 key. And that quickly, your clip shows up at the position of the playhead in the timeline. Now, so far, I've just been editing video only. But these techniques work exactly the same, whether I'm working with video or audio or audio and video. Set the in, set the out, click the red envelope. Or set the in, set the out, hit the F10 key. Well, why? Well, let me show you why. Let's just drag this mad popsicle stick here over just a little bit. If I grab this clip and drag it, count with me, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000, about four seconds to drag that puppy down to the timeline, or a tenth of a second to click the red envelope, or a tenth of a second to hit the F10 key, it's about 40 times faster if you know the shortcuts. Now, where do you want to spend your time? Do you want to spend your time dragging clips to the timeline, or sleeping. You know, do you want to drag the clip to the timeline or eat? If it's 40 times faster and you achieve the same results, then why would you not use some of these power tools? Well, let's just delete these clips, type shift Z so we get everything to fit. Use the up arrow key to move ourselves back a few clips. Now, you remember I said we had 10 tips to faster editing. Well, so far we can drag the clip to the red overwrite overlay. We can drag the clip to the red envelope. 
we can click the red envelope, we can hit the F10 key, or we can drag to the timeline. But that's only five tips. Well, the reason is there are two kinds of edits inside Final Cut. There is the Overwrite Edit and the Insert Edit. Let me just load another clip here, and let's set uh, the letter I, and there we go. Now, watch what happens. Notice that, that I've got some gray here at the end of the sequence, and my playhead is right at the edge of those two clips. I drag it over to the Overwrite Overlay. Watch the position of the playhead in 2, 1, woof. Notice that the new clip landed on top of and replaced what it landed on, and it did not change the duration of the sequence. Command Z to undo that. Now let's do the same thing with the insert. Now watch what happens when I drop it on top of the yellow insert overlay menu. Here we go in two, one, woof. Notice that it pushes everything down to the right. It doesn't replace this clip, it just moves it down. I don't have the gray area here. In other words, it has inserted the shoot the edge clip between clip one and clip three. And just as we have five ways we can do an overwrite edit, we have five ways we can do an insert edit. I can drag to the yellow insert overlay menu. I can drag to the yellow envelope. I can click the yellow envelope. I can press the F9 key or I can drag to the timeline. Now watch very closely. When I drag this clip down to the timeline, look at the shape of the cursor. The cursor's pointing down. The cursor points right. It's going down. Right. That, what the heck is the cursor doing? When the cursor is pointing down, I'm going to do an overwrite edit. When the cursor is pointing to the right, I'm going to do an insert edit. And the difference is this thin gray line here. It's on every track. If my cursor is above the thin gray line, it does an insert edit. If my cursor is below the thin gray line, it does an overwrite edit. So when I'm dragging, not only do I have to worry about the horizontal position of the clip to adjust its timing, I've got to make sure the cursor is above or below this line. This is way too complicated. It is much faster to just put the playhead where you want the clip to go, drag the clip, and drop it on top of whether you want it to be an overwrite or an insert edit. These techniques alone can save you hours on every project, and I suggest you give them a try at your earliest convenience. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Power Up tutorial. 